In this video, I will start up my own SMA agency in 30 days. Service-based business model often seem easier. So in the next 30 days, I'm gonna create my own SMA agency and we'll see how much money I can make. So, what service will we offer? I thought a lot about this, but in the end, I decided that offering a video editing service was the most logical option for me since I have been producing content on YouTube for many years and I have a lot of knowledge, experience, and even talent in video editing. Short, vertical videos are on the rise these days, but I'm not gonna create only short form videos. I will make both long and short videos. So if they want only long videos, I will do only long videos. If they want only short videos, I will do only short videos. Or if they want both, I will do both and I will price my services accordingly. Now, the first thing that I need to do is obviously reach to these people, to these potential clients. And for that, I'm gonna go with cold emailing. Plus, I might also use the Instagram DMs, I mean, to reach to them through social media. I thought it wouldn't be easy to convince someone to buy my service and gain a customer. I mean, I was ready to send hundreds of emails, but I've already set up an appointment with one person. The funny thing is, I didn't find him, he found me. So basically he DM'd me through Instagram and he said that he watched my videos, my videos on YouTube, and he asked if I provide editing services. By the way, because he's in the US and I'm in the Europe, we have a time difference and we'll do the meeting tomorrow because we found a common you know, time slot where we can both go and do the meeting. So I immediately started preparing for this meeting, write down all the things that I find essentials on a piece of paper so that I don't have to stop and think during the meeting or forget what I wanted to talk about. Bro, I can't believe this. <laughs> I forgot to... I forgot to record the meeting. Like, I did all these cool RGB shots and when the client sent me, are you ready? From Instagram, I was like, oh, bro, bro we're going. And I forgot to place the camera and record the meeting. But what happened? basically is we agreed and here's what we agreed four videos and four thumbnails for these videos for one month and that costs 750 dollars i had a bit higher in my mind but i was like he's starting new on youtube and it's my first client so let's start from 750 dollars and we agreed i mean i didn't get any payments yet he said he will send me the footage in a couple of days and i will start editing then and then we'll see what happens but for the moment we are just waiting for the client to send the footage. So, I'll see you in the next days. While I was waiting for the client to send these video files, I was wondering if I should create a website for my agency. And then I thought, maybe not. I don't need it right now at the moment. I guess I can continue without a website for a little bit. Of course, if I start to grow my business and if I start to get more clients and I think about it more serious, then of course I will create a website. Also, I don't think that the website needs to be super fancy with all these effects and animations and stuff like that. I mean, I think it can be something simple, talking about you and your business, so who you are, what you do, with who you have worked with, if you have any testimonials to show, and a contact section, of course, so they can reach you. All right, it's been a while and a lot of things happened since then. Now, it's story time. Get your tea or or coffee, I have a lot to tell. First, forget about that first client, he never responded back. After that, I started sending emails to a lot of YouTubers, again. And after a few days, I got a response from two people at the same time. But there was a problem. I don't think that I have the time to edit videos for these two YouTubers. So I went to my Discord server and I found a guy that who knew how to edit videos. I sent him a message, I explained the situation and I offered him $500 per month for four videos. He agreed. Then I went to the YouTuber and I said $750 for four videos per month. He agreed as well, but he sent me an example video, a three minute video so I can edit it. And so basically he can see my editing style. I did my best and I edited the video and I think I did a pretty good job. And this guy, I guess, forgot about me. Like I didn't exist. However, if you remember, two people responded to my emails. So we actually had a meeting with this person and we agreed on $150 per video. But actually the pricing system is not just about $150. So I have a list right here. And if the final video gets more than 100,000 views in the first three months, the video price is $180. If it gets more than 200,000 views, then it's $230. If the video gets more than 300,000 views, then it's $280. If it gets more than 500,000 views, then it's $300. And if the video gets over 1 million views, then it's $350 for that video. I mean, I didn't offer this. She offered it. I mean, she's a really good person. She's too sweet. And I think the meeting went pretty good. We also talked from Instagram. So like we talk as we are friends. Like it's not like that 
weird or cold chatting, like it's not like a client relationship. However, while I was having a meeting with her, she also told me about a different project. Of course, I will not share the project right here, but we are working on it. And we agreed with her for $1,000 for that project. So you see, this is where we are. We can say that I was successful with that challenge. Basically, if you're good in your field, and if you put your mind to it, you can make a lot of money, my friend. And if you can offer value to the other person, they will pay you gladly. Of course, right now I'm an editor. We can't say that it's an agency. To be able to call this as an agency, I need to work with multiple YouTubers and have editors working for me, which that's not the situation right now. I'm just myself and editing for a single YouTuber. So I'm an editor. However, without an agency, you can still make pretty good money on your own. You don't need to call this an agency. The agency is the next step. First, you start as a freelancer, as an editor, or if you give Facebook ads or something else, it's different. But basically, you start as a freelancer and then you can scale it to an agency. For example, in my case, if you edit four videos from $150, that's $600. But remember, I have this YouTube channel, I have my other YouTube channel, and I have a different YouTube channel as well with my friend that we work. So I have basically four youtube channels that i am working right now and on the three i have to create content myself so i spend a lot of time if you just edit videos you can edit for two for three or for even four youtubers if you just edit for two youtubers that's one thousand two hundred dollars per month if you edit for three youtubers that's one thousand eight hundred dollars and over time you can also raise your price per video by the way if you want two or three months from now i can make an like update video if you want like what I'm doing, what happened and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments what you want. So if you wanna get detailed information about this business model, I suggest you to watch this video here. In that video, I explain this business model with its details. So I guess I'll see you again in that video. Bye-bye.